Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume this complete beginner's guide here in 2023 to potion craft on day two. So we've already gone and picked up all of our ingredients in the Enchanted Garden, and um, we have explored, but have we gone to the basement? Not yet. Go down. And you'll get a goal for going down here. And what you'll find in the basement is that there's a broken alchemy machine that you can't do anything with right now, but you can get that easy goal, get yourself some experience, all right? Now, we got a bunch of new ingredients. And you have the choice at this point where if you wanted, you could, like, explore the map. Um, but what I recommend, instead of just going a hog wild and exploring, in terms of your patronization is to first go to your shop. We get a goal for doing that, by the way, now that we're starting the game and out of the tutorial. And make sure to sell your potions to every po customer that comes in first so that you don't waste ingredients exploring and then you can't provide something that someone wants. So you can kind of go through all of your customers and then they'll just stop coming in. Nobody will come in and it's basically your time to go up and end the day by going up to sleep. But instead, what you can do then at the end of the day is just take a look at your goals, right? You can go up here at your alchemist path, see if you have any goals to make, like, for example, craft a potion of healing, create a potion of poisoning, right? So you can work on those goals after everyone's gone and you have unlimited time to do that. You're only really gated by your ingredients. Okay, so this guy says he needs a potion that'll help him quickly start a fire in the fireplace. So he needs something that's going to make fire, all right? Now, if I look at my potions, I don't have any. So quickly start a fire in the fireplace. Um, let's look at our recipe book. And the only potions we have are poisoning and healing. So we need to explore right now. So this is another reason why I don't recommend exploring without any purpose at first, because you might have a customer who asks for something that you don't yet know how to make. And you need to have all of your ingredients to really effectively go for this. So he wants a, a fire potion. So go over here to your compass and select the fire element. Um, and what you're always going to be doing is reading people's clues for what they say about what potion they might want. And, you know, as you get more potions, you'll probably know how to make it. But sometimes, in this case, you don't know. So fire is our clue. We're going to go fire element. And, of course, the fire bell is going to take us in the fire direction very effectively. So you're going to just start getting all of these goals for just doing random stuff, like dropping things into your mortar and pestle and everything like that. And we've already leveled up, which is just tremendous. Now, um, I'm going to drop this into my cauldron, uh, get even more experience. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to actually get the alchemy map visibility radius up right now because I'm going to be exploring. And so I might as well knock out some more of that while I do that. So I'm going to go here and we stir it up. And remember, if you're looking for a potion, follow the dotted lines that you see on the alchemy map. All right. So we're going to go here. We're just going to drop these in. Grind, 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 grind. And see where this takes us. All right. We got a book. And we got another book. And we got another book. And look, there's a potion right there. Now, this will take us sort of where we want to go. Eh. No, not at all. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this into the mortar and pestle. But you see how um, I want to grind this only enough. Okay, I'm going to zoom way in so that I get the best destination that lines up with this potion. Okay? Okay. So I'm going to kind of put it, and I'm going to go as high as I can. That's good. And I'll show you why. What we're going to do is we're going to stir it up, 
and we're going to just watch this. And we're going to try to see if we can get a level 2 out of this deal. So stir really slowly. There you go. Now, a 2 is probably the best I can get. Unless, okay, if I change my compass to air, which is up, and I drop this wind bloom in, I can probably get this to level 3. And so I'm not going to need to... Um, stir the potion at all, okay? But I'm kind of... Um, I'm sorry. I'm not going to need to grind this up at all. I'm just going to drop it in. But you see how it kind of goes in a curling pattern in the upper right? I want to stir my um, potion just a bit so that I can accommodate for how this pulls to the right. And let's see if we can get this to 3. Okay, I'm going to drop this in, and it has to finish the Firebell path, and then it will go up here. Okay, and I don't like where it's at. I'm still at two, and you see this faint line that's coming out diagonally from the potion. That is the dilution line. There is a dotted line that's telling you where the potion is, and then there is a not dotted line it's filled in but it's just very very faint and that's the dilution line and if i hover over the um water decanter here okay you can see the arrow telling you where it will go if you dilute this all right so i'm gonna just pour a little bit of water in just a little bit and if you pour water from the ladle so i called it a water decanter how about a ladle and that's what they call it here in the game. Um, you get a reward for doing that, but I'm going to just see if I can do it just enough to get level 3 overlap. So I'm being very careful. I'm tilting this up just a bit, and I'm watching it, and not quite. That's very close, but not quite. I need to go straight down. Okay. And the problem is I can't go straight down until I get to this destination. Um, so because of that, I'm just going to finish this potion. Like, like I told you, I can't just drop Terraria in and then start where Terraria wants to go. I have to finish what I started in the cauldron first. Um, unless I fire it, right? Um... And even then, it's going to want me to finish it. So, no, that doesn't cancel you out of that. So, we made the potion, okay? It's a potion of fire. And I'm not going to save this recipe um, because I used an extra um, wind bloom that I probably didn't need to use to try to get level 3 and didn't quite get there, okay? So, instead, what I'm going to do is just bounce over, okay? And we're going to go to the shop. Oh, wait, I have to finish the potion. Finish potion. There you go. And we're going to go over here. And we got another talent point. So because we're going to sell, um, I'm going to click on trading to get more money. And you'll notice that we got a bunch more rewards. Um, and you can always keep track of these and click on your book and see where they are. And we even got some level 2 rewards, um, which is... Uh, create a potion with effect of tier 2 or higher, which we did. It was a level 2 potion. We poured water from the ladle, okay, um, to dilute the potion and kind of bring it back to the middle following its dilution line. And we made a potion of fire. All right, so what we're going to do is sell the potion to this guy. I'm going to click on my potions tab. I'm going to select the potion of fire, and we're going to drop it on the scale and watch his reaction. And he loves it. Now he says, this potion will do but I would pay more for something higher grade. And so this potion is fire two. The highest we can make right now is fire three. So he's telling you like, hey, if you give me a fire three, I'll pay even more money for it. And generally you want to try to get level three if, if possible. But in that case, it would have taken more ingredients in my opinion than it was worth. So I'm just going to be happy with the level two and we're going to sell it um, for 47. No, we're going to haggle. All right. I'm going to haggle because this is a level 2 potion and I want to get all the extra cheese. So we're going to haggle. And instead of going very easy, which would give me 9 extra money, I'm going to go up to easy to give me 14 extra money. Okay? And 
I recommend you start doing this. Start increasing the difficulty level until you feel comfortable and then see if you can go even higher to make more money. So you'll notice like the difference, obviously, these potion, these uh, topics are a little bit bigger, a little bit closer together. These are a little bit further apart, but, and the main difference is this um, needle is just going to move faster. And you'll notice too, like sometimes the buttons will appear where they weren't before um, to replace the ones that you have used. And so if you're quick on the uptake, you can find one right in your path that helps you avoid passing time in the haggle window. And we ended up getting 61 money. So we got two rep, two popularity and 61 money. And now we just need one more popularity point to raise up our popularity. This guy says, I don't know why, but food seems to spoil incredibly fast in my house. Do you have a potion that helps food stay fresh longer? Right. Okay. So not right now, but what we want is like, you know, the clue he needs like a, something to refrigerate his food, right? So we need something that's uh, of maybe water or ice. Okay. So we can look around here. We've got water um, and that seems to be maybe our best bet. So let's go water and see if there's like an ice potion or something and explore over here in the water direction using water bloom. All right. So I'm going to drop this in here. I'm going to grind this all the way up. And before I um, do anything else, I'm going to just stir and uncover the map and see what's over here. Remember, I'm going in the water direction. And I'm following this dotted line. I don't currently see anything, okay? So I need to keep going. But I do see that there's another line up here that has emerged. Remember, you want to stay away from these bones, but this will take us away from that. So let's just keep grinding. Keep grinding. Got it. And drop it in there. And now we found another potion. We don't know what this is, um, but you can see that if I just drop this... I'm going to get really, really close uh, to being level three. Now, what I'm going to actually do, though, is uh, grind this. And my plan here is I'm going to see if this path will take us to level three just by dropping this in. But if it doesn't, I'm going to try to overshoot and line up. You can see the faint line above the dotted line is the dilution line. This is where it will pull back towards center if I use the ladle. I'm going to try to overshoot and line this up exactly with this line and then pull it back into a level three if I have to. So you'll see that basically I'm going to just kind of grind, grind, grind until it gets to a point that looks reasonable. And then now I've dropped it in and I'm just going to stir very, very slowly and see how close we get to a level three. We got two. And... Three. Okay, so we didn't even need to overshoot it. We have three right now. All right, so I'm actually going to fire this up and see what it is. And it's a potion of frost. So frost is what we want. It's a freezing potion to keep his food stronger. All right, you can see right here there's one, two, three frost icons, meaning this is potency three. So there's only room for two more effects um, or another effect of potency two or level two. And I'm going to save this recipe in my book. That's even a goal, gives us experience. We're gonna finish the potion. And we leveled up just by doing that, which is tremendous. And I'm even gonna put another point here to get more money. Um, we got an achievement uh, for I only need your strongest potions from the hilarious potion maker meme video from years ago. And what we're gonna do at this point is go back to the shop, okay? and drop this on here and you see how he says excellent this potion is perfect this means that it's exactly what he wants and it's the highest level so we're definitely going to haggle he's going to give us 58 usually in terms of like the cost ratio it is in your best interest to try to get level three if you can get it with reasonable ingredients because they will pay enough for it to make up for the cost and there is an opportunity cost each day there's only a set number of customers that happen to come into your shop 
So if you just sell them like level one stuff because you want to save everything, um, you're going to end up with a situation where you just didn't make enough money because you wasted the opportunities that you got. However, you will end up with extra ingredients that you could potentially use to explore the alchemy map if that's what you want to do. I like selling them high level stuff. I'm going to haggle and get some more money. I'm going to go up to medium, okay? This is as high as we can take the negotiation barter screen um, or the haggling screen until we unlock levels four and five. And you can see those are unlocked over here on this fourth column of the talent screen. Um, and it's, it is much faster. Uh, so we're going to do it. But you see, it's not like diabolically fast. And we got it and it gave us 23 extra money, which is tremendous. So we're going to sell it and boom, we raised our popularity. Okay. And that means that now um, they said an herbalist might come visit us, uh, which is a vendor. So raising your popularity also um, creates a situation. It says here, rumor has it you're either a medicine person or an herbalist. Okay. Um, and that kind of indicates to you that people are going to start coming into your shop who don't want to just sell you or don't, I'm sorry, don't want to buy potions from you might actually want to sell you things that you can use your gold to buy. He says, Greetings, I recently went fishing at a lake in the forest. I cast my line out and immediately got a bite. I reeled it in and tried to get it off the hook, but the fish had some teeth. It bit me on the palm and flopped in the water. Now my hand is swollen. How can I fish now? So his hand is hurt, so he wants a healing potion. So let's go over here. Now, I could just click on this and then go into my recipe book and click on the weak potion of healing and brew it immediately and just have a level one potion. However, I want to try to get a high level healing potion. So let's see if we can do that. All right, we're going to go back here and we need to go um, into the life direction so we can see that if I grind this up, it'll start to take me on my way to the right. And then I need to go down. Okay. And if I grind this up, it gets me really, really close. And then we're going to need to make some adjustments. All right. And these adjustments would look like this. And we'll just drop this in the pot. We don't need to grind it at all. Okay. So we're going to zoom in and we're going to stir it up. Get a book. And now we're going to see how close we can get this to overlapping. All right, so this is when you just start stirring really slowly. And keep in mind, you don't have to like move the ladle back and forth. You can drop it. You can just grab it and make really tight circles if you want. Whatever you need to just move nice and slowly and see. Okay, what do I need to do? We got level two, but I'm going to be greedy. And I'm going to take it beyond where it needs to go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm paying attention to the dilution line over here and I'm just going to go past it until I line it up that looks really really good it looks like the line for diluting the potion overlaps the line that leads to the potion and that's what you want to look for and now I'm just going to use the ladle and bring this back slowly until it maybe says starts going to level two there it is and I'm just going to keep pouring until it says three like that, and I'm going to stop. I'm going to fire this up. Okay, I'm going to save the recipe. I'm going to finish the potion. I'm going to go back to the shop. I'm going to sell this man an incredible potion. He loves it. He's not going to give us a ton of money for it because it's, you know, an easy to paint potion, but that's okay. And um, I'm still going to haggle just to practice. Oh, and you can see I'm missing a little bit here. But we got there in the end. And sell it for 44. Oh, speak of the herbalist. Hi, are you the new alchemist? I'm the local herbalist. I gather plants and sell them. Want to see what I have for sale? I think I have something that might interest you. So she has a couple of dialogue options. This middle option... Do you sell anything besides herbs? You can click on this, and it's just kind of like flavor um, to get more story out of her, get to know her better, and then you go back, 
and it grays out because you already talked to her about that. And then this little money purse icon means this is she has something to actually sell us. And so once you click on this screen, on the left panel opens up what she has to sell you, okay? And then you get like this barter window. Now, if there's a green box with this down arrow in green pointing down, this means that these wind bloom are on sale. Conversely, if you see a red box with an up red arrow, that means that she's charging like double price for it. Now, you can sell her ingredients, okay? Um, oh, I'm sorry, the, down, the, the arrow goes down for red for selling, where it's like she's only going to give you garbage money for this because she's already selling this for sale, so she doesn't need any more of these. You can sell her ingredients um, or finished potions or anything you have, but I recommend, at least in my experience, I never sell them anything. I only buy, um, unless it's some kind of incredible deal, but usually I, I want to sell my potions to customers so I can haggle with them, uh, get more money and reputation and stuff, and then I want to only purchase from them. So she's got a bunch of these to sell. Now what you can do on your ingredients is just look at your list. I actually have a good number of Windbloom, so maybe I don't want to buy it, but I recommend to try to buy everything she's got. Focus on things that you don't have, like this Life Leaf. Um, we don't have any of that, so I'm going to try to buy it all. I'm going to um, buy all of this because it's on sale. Okay, and then let's look for which ingredient are we low on. Maybe some of these, um, and then some of these... Now, you'll notice that at this point, I only have 321 gold, so I can't just buy it outright. But there's a star here because you see green is still available, meaning I can successfully haggle and buy all of this for less than 321. All right, so I'm happy with this amount of ingredients. You could buy a few more if you wanted, and I'll show you. If you keep clicking, eventually, the stars up here indicate what level of haggling you need to do to make this affordable. So if you want to get all of these, you're going to need to do three, level three haggling, right? And at this point, now we can no longer haggle anymore. Um, we need like level four. So you can just click on things to send them back. All right. And I'm going to click on some Terraria and send it back like this. And I'm just going to buy this many ingredients, 417, two star haggling. And now you get to haggle, but this will mean you give her less money. I'm going to go medium again, okay? And just try to get this right. Let it bounce around, and we saved 166. So now we're buying all of this for 251. Now what you can do, once you successfully haggle, is buy it, okay? And then you can, with your money left over, you can try to buy some more, and you can haggle again. If you fail haggling, they won't let you haggle anymore. Okay, um, uh, but I'm not going to buy any more. I'm okay with this, uh, even though I'm not using all of my money. You can use all of yours if you want. I'm not going to. I'm going to be happy, and I'm going to just push escape Oop. or not push that. Um, I'm going to say back. That's what you say, and you say end the dialogue, and she leaves, and here comes some more customers. And he says, good afternoon. Yesterday, the friend's party, I burned my tongue on my soup. Now I can't taste anything. Um, and he wants a healing potion. So we can go back to our potion screen. And what we could do, okay, is make the potion manually. But at this point, you know what? I can click on my recipe book. And I, I saved strong potion of healing. Three hearts out of five for strong level three. And I can just click brew this recipe. Okay, and make this. Now... I want to say that the consequence to you of doing this is that you won't get any books that are in the path of this potion. So if a bunch of green books popped in here and you wanted to get them, you would need to manually make the potion to get the brown or green books on your path. But there are no books. There's no bonuses I'm going to get. So let's save some time and just brew this recipe. We even get a goal achieved for brewing from the recipe book. And let's go back to the shop. And drop this on the scale and see what he thinks. And he's like, my God, it's perfect. And we're going to haggle again. I'm going to talk to him about alcohol. Uh, and just try oh, t 
to get this going correctly. Oh god. Oh dear. Oh no. Okay, so in this case, I didn't haggle well, but I can end the conversation um, because some customers are shrewder than others. You can see how narrow the strips were for him to click on, and I didn't get them right, and I was it was a downhill battle where they weren't spawning fast enough for me to come back, I felt like, so I just cut my losses, and I didn't make him angry. I just made it so I'm going to lose a little bit extra money, and we sell it, okay? So, uh, what can we say? That's what happened. And this guy, he says, I've used up all my poison doing things. I'd be grateful if you could help me replenish my supply. Okay, so this is a choice you have to make, which is this guy is clearly using poison for something unscrupulous, like he's not going to tell you what it's about. So if you don't care, you can sell him the poison, but I do care, so I'm going to not sell him anything, and he's going to be upset. But you see, we got plus one reputation, um, meaning like we lost a popularity point, but we got a reputation point because we did a, quote, good thing. The neighbor's livestock have gotten into the habit of eating the vegetables out of my garden. I'm tired of chasing them. I want to spice up my vegetable with something special so my neighbor has fewer livestock and I have fewer problems. So this guy does want to poison, but he wants to poison in a way that is like not murder. Now, if you don't want to kill animals, you don't have to do this one. But I'm going to accept this, um, you know, and we'll see if the game counts this as a, a dastardly deed or a reasonable deed. We already sold poison to get rid of rats, right? So is this on those terms or is this um, more diabolical? We're going to click on the death point of the compass and you can see that, you know, um, the goblin shroom, yeah, okay, sure, takes us there, kind of. Um, this is a really weird potion in terms of the direction that it goes, but we can go here, okay, and we can just turn this out and get close. And then see if there's anything that goes close. Not really. So what we are going to need to do here um, is... Mm, no, let me, let me look at this. Okay, yeah. We'll just drop this in and stir it. And then I'll drop this in. And I'm going to zoom way in. And let's see how this goes. Can we get to three? I'm going to slowly turn around this corner and right there you see the line of dilution crosses the dotted line so if I pull this back to I'm gonna stop I'm gonna let go of the mouse button to stop and just kind of go slowly and get level three and we're gonna fire this up um, I'm gonna I'll save the recipe even though it's not a great one because you can always just delete your pages if you don't like the recipe and we're going to go back and let's see what happens um oops we can't go back until i finish the potion and then we go over here and we'll drop this on here and that's exactly what he wants and let's haggle with this man now you can see his medium topic is food and these are nice big um tags for us to target so this will be much easier than the alcohol guy all right and we sell it and we got minus 20 just like that so be aware that if you sell a poison to something that you're not sure about um there is a huge consequence to your reputation i mean that's minus 20 that's no joke it's not like minus one all right so um understand how seriously that affects you and if you're not sure you want to sell it then don't okay so great Let's take a look at our book here, and the only thing we need to do is start a new day, and we finish chapter one in our book. So we click on this, we go to bed, we pass time, and we've completed 
The Alchemist Paths Chapter 1. We leveled up. We get a talent point. Okay. And we got an extra 500 experience. We say okay. And now when we look at our book, um, Chapter 1 is done and we're working on Chapter 2. You could use these goals to kind of plan out what you want. You can see what potions down at the bottom you might want to build toward. Okay. These also help give you an idea of what your customer might want. Um, you can click on this and we have a talent point. And I'm going to go ahead and go Alchemical Practice. Boost this up for some more experience. Go down. Go to your garden. Make sure to gather everything that you can. Just click on, you know, every little thing. And you are ready to go for the next day to see what the customers want. You can explore your alchemy map if you want, of course. But I'm not going to. And I'm going to say, everyone, I think this is a good place to just stop our guide i feel like we've gone through a day we've showed you good rep bad rep how to back out gracefully of bad haggling how to do successful haggling how to interpret what your customers are asking for how to buy things from vendors and now i feel like you have enough of the foundations to really explore and enjoy the game on your own um we didn't talk uh yet about the whirlpools here that you see and that let me explain those before we go. So you see these Ripley potion, um, these Ripley kind of like whirlpools on the alchemy map. If you bring your potion down here onto one of these, and then you fire using the bellows your potion while on top of this, it will start to swirl and it will teleport you to a set destination on the alchemy map. So you can use these as little teleports to get around. Once you have used one of these whirlpools once, it will permanently show you with an icon on the map where it will take you in the, any subsequent time you teleport on there so you know where it goes. Uh, but that is what those are, okay? So you can use these to find even more potions and get around quicker. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Take care.